Hey guys, I've got this, it's a homemade clipper, it's not, it's, it's made so that if the fucking, if you trip a breaker, or, uh, the classic actually powers itself off for some reason and you're not around, it won't overvolt the wind, the wind won't kill it with high volts here's what I've done so where the hell's my pen here okay here you can see here's the bridge rectifier that goes directly to the dump load from the negative and then to the SSR to the dump resistor resistive resistive load only and then I have it from the battery goes to the negative of the SSR on the input here for the trigger and then these are relays that are normally open they're normally closed like when it's powered up these pins here are on but as soon as the power turns off like if the classic shuts off for some reason it open it connects these ones here so if the classic turns off the power from the battery will automatically dump the power from the wind turbine into the dump load and when it's normal operation for the clipper on the aux 2 for the classic it operates normally it will send the power here when the battery is getting full and if it's going to overvolt the classic it sends the power here to slow the turbine down and here i'll show you i'll actually i'll take the power from the auxiliary one and it'll turn the relay on and i can cycle the uh, the aux 2 on here to test it and it turns it on no problem so you can see here I've got the aux 1 loose see I've taken it out it's as if the clipper has turned off and you can see the input volts has gone down because it's getting restricted into the, the tur into the resistor there now so I'll put it back in Oh, it's on it's back to normal we'll tighten that up Oops. so now I'm gonna go into the settings here and I'll toggle the new uh, do the turn the aux to on Okay, here I figured out the aux 2 setting here. I was fucking it up. Manual on, and you see that it turned the relay on. So now the power from the turbine is getting diverted. And clipper control, so that's normal. Turn it off, nothing. Manual on, it's on again. It's really simple. it's all here there's an SSR uh, normally open normally closed relay one variable resistor two diodes and that's it you turn your aux one on so it's continuously on with the 12 volt signal and that opens this relay up all the time and if the clipper or I mean the classic ever shuts off for some reason it turns this relay off which connects these two wires together and that sends the power sends the battery power to this relay here which will divert the wind turbine to that instead of overvolting the fucking thing and letting the turbine spin freely 
just like the clipper does. And when the aux 2 is on and clipper control, when the battery's getting full, that extra power from the turbine will be diverted to the resistor. And if it overvolts the, the classic, the power goes to the resistor. Same way their, their fucking uh, clipper works. Exactly the same. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so I got this here on again. You can see. Here's the relay. SSR. So I'll just, as if I'll turn the aux one off and that'll simulate the classic turning off or a breaker going. So now it's off, you can see the relay turned on. So that's what you want power from the turbine to divert to the resistor, which is right there. Turn it back on. SSR is off now, and I'll go to the clipper control, aux 2, turn it on. And you can see the relay turned on. So that'll be when it's controlling the the power from the because the batteries are getting too full or the turbine's overvolting the classic. The clipper control it'll do that by itself. Turn it on, yeah. Relay goes on. That's it. Pretty simple.